Map visuals can be great for your Power BI reports when you need spatial context, meaning how are things located from one another. Now, one functionality that I have to integrate in many of my Power BI reports is the ability to pick a location, set a certain distance, and then see only those other locations that fall within that distance. Now, of course, let's start with a map. Here you see I have a table with all of the descriptive information about the stores. Let's drag latitude onto the latitude drop zone. And let's do the same for longitude. I'm going to go for grayscale. So the bubbles that you see in our map visual, they correspond to the latitude and longitude for each individual store, which has one row in this table. Now, how can we now add another point for the selected city? Now, to be able to do that, what we can do is create a dummy table where we have the same stores, latitude and longitude with one extra row that we connect to this one. Here we need to take that stores dummy table and connect it to the stores table. I want to have one to many cross filter direction single. Instead of taking latitude and longitude from our stores table, we're going to have measures. So I'm going to add a new measure. Now, of course, we need to repeat this measure then also for the longitude. And once you have these measures, you can just add them on the corresponding drop zones for the map visual. We can resolve this by going here to our dummies table and then take the shop name and drag it onto location. Let's add another measure. Okay, now this measure we can use for the color of the bubbles. So let's go to formatting, then over here, choose bubbles, colors, and then click on the add X button. Now, if you want, you can do the same thing for the size of the bubbles. So let's add another measure. So now the real interesting part, how can we set up a filter that's based on the distances of all of the locations to the chosen city? Now for that, we need to be able to calculate the distance. Let's start with that measure, and that measure needs to be based on well, a distance that the user can choose. Now, how can we have that? With a numeric parameter. Choose new parameter, numeric range, and then over here, increments of maybe 10. Add the slicer to the page, but nothing happens just yet. Because for us to build the filter, we need to know the maximum distance plus the distance from the chosen city to all of the store locations. Now, and that part we're going to solve with another measure. Okay, now we can set up the filter measure. The filter measure that actually gets rid of the dots that are outside of the chosen max distance. Take the location filter, drag it onto filters on this visual, and set it equal to one, and click on apply. And now the final test, so I'm going to choose a different city. Let's choose Berlin. Then max distance of 400, perfectly, nicely zooms out, just the way I imagine it to work.